Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are taking a look at the 2012 Telugu film Iga. Do stick around till the end of the video to see my rating. The movie, directed by SS Roger Movie, offers a unique and intriguing spin on the classic movie trope of a complicated love triangle involving two men, Nani and Sudeep, competing against each other for the love of a fascinating and beautiful woman named Bindu. The movie follows the tried and true format to a T, letting the viewer experience the growth and development of Nani and Bindu's relationship firsthand, showing Nani and Bindu developing feelings for each other, though for anyone who is familiar with this type of movie knows that things are about to get much darker before the end of the movie. Though the movie starts out as many other simple romanticized dramas, it did not take long before I was glued to the screen, both excited and terrified to see what happens next. Not long after the two protagonists meet, the film introduces us to the enemy, Sudeep. Once I saw the lustful look in his eyes towards Bindu, followed by the evil he had when meeting Nani, it was clear that nothing but disaster was ahead. As the movie has the viewer on the edge of their seat, it plays out exactly as one would fear. The buildup of tension had me inching closer and closer to the screen, wishing I could step through and warn Nani of what was next to come. Unfortunately, what I feared most for our main character came true. He was attacked and killed by Sudeep. At this point, the movie had done well at building excitement and curiosity, but I was unprepared for what was next. Instead of continuing down the beaten path of wrapping up in a tragic romance with uplifting and predictable conclusion, Iga takes the story in a different direction that, in my opinion, paid off exponentially. Unlike most other films, instead of returning as a spirit or demon hellbent on revenge or even a young boy claiming to be a reincarnation of her beloved, as seen in the 2004 Hollywood movie Birth, starring Nicole Kidman, our protagonist Nani becomes a normal housefly. Now, if you are anything like me, you may be thinking that the whole idea is a bit out of pocket. But as I continued to watch, I found myself unable to turn away. Being a cinephile myself and growing up watching Hollywood movies, the idea of becoming a fly with a quest for vengeance is so outrageous and unique that I could not help but ask myself what would happen next. As the rest of the film progresses, it is clear that the newborn fly does not possess some otherworldly strength or superpowers, but instead uses a tactic of fear-mongering. This was a welcome surprise, instead of going directly into brutal gore-fest, but still left a sense of satisfaction knowing that the villain was being driven into madness, all at the hands of a fly. Now that isn't to say that this film does not deliver on the action sequence, as there is a thrilling battle towards the end. The film comes to a close with a bleak ending, having the viewer believe that this is all we will hear or see of Nani again. At least for a few moments, anyway. The movie finally ends with Nani returning to protect Bindu once again, a very welcome event that left me pleasantly surprised and delivered a sense of closure. All in all, Iga is a wonderfully wacky and thrilling movie to spend a relaxing evening watching. I would rate this movie 4 out of 5 stars for its distinctive and engaging plot along with its seamless execution in terms of screenplay. I hope you found this video entertaining, and if you want to see more videos like this, do check out the next video on your screen, and be sure to hit the bell icon for post notifications. Thank you for tuning in, bye for now.